Hello, I'm going to talk to you. This is part two of Jerry Falwell Jr., the drunk, and Becky Falwell, the nymphomaniac. This is part two. Now, I think that when you have people with this debased, reprobate, and debaucherous mind, uh, these people are reprobates. See, the Lord called the people of Sodom and Gomorrah reprobates, debased. In other words, you can't do anything with him. He can't do anything with him. So he destroyed him. See, see, he said he would give them over to a reprobate mind to do that which is not convenient. In other words, he can't do anything with him. But I remember Jerry Falwell Sr. I actually saw, uh, listened to a couple of his sermons live, usually live, okay, on TV. Now, I did not know him personally, but if he needed $10 million, dollars by Wednesday he got in front of the camera and said we need 10 million dollars by Wednesday he would get it if he said we need 30 million dollars by Friday he would get in the camera really close to the camera and he would get 30 million dollars by Friday hello now he didn't he did seem to me to have a racist problem I can't outright call him a racist but he did seem to me to have a racist problem which he probably took with him to the next life he said Martin Luther King is not worthy of a holiday because uh, of his immoral character. Well, well, guess what? Is his son worthy of a, uh, being president of a university because of his immoral character? Is Becky worthy of being the first lady of a university because of, she's sleeping with a cotton picking student, y'all. Okay, is she worthy to be president? I mean, um, first lady of a, a college? So what, what is, what did Jerry Falwell Sr. What did he teach his children? Did he teach his children, um, you are white, you have white privilege, okay? So you're always gonna be rich, you, okay? And you can be a hypocrite if you're rich and white and you have white privilege as long as you don't get caught. Now, Jerry Falwell, when he died, they said he, he was having an affair with some woman. You know, I guess a church whore, okay? So he was having an affair with some, woman okay so what's the message that, that he's sending to his children okay as long as you're rich and white and you're discreet you can just do what you want to do bye okay <laughs> so just don't get caught okay now I remember watching one of his ser uh, sermons live because uh, that's the way television was back then he talked about Vanessa Williams he said um, Miss America pageant is supposed to be a symbol of, ho of wholesomeness and morality. And Vanessa Williams has dragged it through the mud. I heard that plain and clear on one of the sermons. Um, it seems like he finds a weakness in people and then he just talk about it for days, maybe even weeks. He just finds a weakness in people and, and exploits it. That's what I, I get from him. Um, now, 1 Corinthians 5, 5, it says, deliver one to Satan for the destruction of the flesh that the spirit may be saved okay now in 2000 now uh, like I said a second man has come forth that said Becky gave him a blow job in 2008 when he was uh, you know practicing band with her son and she gave him more blow jobs after that okay so she's been doing this 2008 and this is what 2020 she's been doing this for years she never was going to stop Jerry Falwell Jr. was never going to stop. Becky Falwell was never going to stop. They never going to stop until they got caught. Okay. They never were going to stop. And now I'm hearing that there's yet a third man. The Bible says to deliver as one to Satan for the del destruction of the flesh. Now, um, they are predators. Let's get that straight. They're, they are predators. They seem to... Um, prey upon white males who are young, 25 years old and under, who are handsome, and etc. Okay, you know, technically it's pedophilia, even though they grown men, okay. The Bible says, do not keep company with such a person, and don't even eat with such a person. Now, um, now this is one thing I'm certain of, based on what I have read in the interviews that I have seen uh, on video, Becky Falwell is a nymph, a nymphomaniac. Jerry Falwell Jr. is a nymph, and he's a drunk. Okay? 
So maybe it's because they found each other. They both nymphs, okay? Um, both are predators. They like they they've been preying upon young people over and over and over again. Uh, number three, I do believe he's gay, but I don't care. I mean, you got two naked people in bed. He's watching. He's watching the man. And you know what I get from granted, they always in bed together. What does that mean? He's cotton picking gay. But look, I don't care. Okay, but he is. Number four, both have a reprobate mind. Uh, they have a debased Becky Falwell and Jerry Falwell Jr. have a debased mind, voyeurism, debauchery. They have a debaucherous mind, okay? And I, like I said, I submit to you the super rich Christians know. Uh, the Cohen, uh, Trump's lawyer knew, so you know Trump knew. Okay, he probably saw it too. The rich Christians knew. They have known this for years, okay? Most of the board members at Liberty University knew. So look what he's been doing, exploiting them uh, at liberty for their money so you know poor people that's another college that poor people built uh like the vatican poor people built these mega churches poor people built the colleges all these christian colleges on the backs of poor people because rich people do not give the colleges rich people do not give to christian organizations in the first place but this is this is shocking it really is they have a both of them have a debased mind both of them are voyeurs. They're into debauchery. They are debaucherous. Both of them. The Bible says, give us one over to Satan for the destruction of the flesh, that the spirit may be saved. Have a nice day.